So um, this is the M2 hat. Um, it's called hat. It can be uh, used with Raspberry Pi port or can be used as a standalone adapter. And as you can see, it has M2 socket here, and it has a dual SIM. So the first SIM card slot is on the top side, and if you flip it, uh, uh, there is another slot on the bottom side. So I have two SIM card. One is a Sober SIM, and one another SIM from AT&T. This is LTE module, it's CAT, uh, CAT 6, uh, up to uh, 300 megabit per second, the USB cable, uh, I have a screw, screw uh, driver, and I have an antenna, and you can see the antenna I'm connecting into the LTE module, uh, because the connector here are uh, called MFH4 connector, they are very small connector, uh, antenna connector. So I have a small cable adapter that convert from UFL, antenna connector to MFH4. So, first step is I can insert the SIM card actually. So, um, I can put the super SIM in the, f uh, in the first SIM card on the top side. And I can put the other one, uh, the AT&T SIM card on the bottom one, on the bottom card slot. And then I can insert the M2 form factor LTE module. I can uh, use the screw at, um, to put it here. So that's it. And then I can connect the USB cable and uh, I have a docking station. So I connect, you can connect it to the your USB port or a, a docking station. I have it here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, let's now see. Uh, 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 actually, when it's powered on, um, you will see uh, the lid here is is a yellow lid. Uh, let me zoom a little bit. So you can see there is uh, two lid. The green one is a power lid, and the yellow one is a modem status. So you can see it's flickering. Uh, meaning that the modem is trying to register. So now <clears throat> the M2 hat is connected to the USB. Uh, let's see, uh, let's launch the device manager on the Windows and see whether it recognizes LTE modem. Uh, under board, yeah, you will see here uh, uh, three, uh, <clears throat> AT, three port, serial port, AT port. DM and uh, NEMA is used for GNS, and you'll see under the modem also the USB modem is detected. Uh, now, let's remember the port number here for the AT port is 57. Okay, so let's open the uh, QCOM tool and let's try to connect uh, to port 57 here and click open port. Now uh, you can uh, make sure that um, uh, you are communicating with the M2 hat and the LTE modem by executing this ATI command here. And you can see it shows the manufacturer QSTEL EM6 LTE CAT6 and the revision number. Now, since we have a dual SIM on the M2 hat, let's see, uh, by default, the SIM card slot on the top side is the one that is activated. And you can execute this AT command, QD, AT command uh, QDSM, to see uh, what SIM number is currently active. And here it sees zero. So zero uh, meaning SIM card number one. And if display one, it will be some SIM card slot number two. So uh, remember, we inserted the super SIM into SIM card slot number one. Uh, let's verify also you can see the CCID of the SIM card here by executing this command. And this is a this is a CCID of that sober sim. Uh, now let's try uh, to make sure the ABN name is configured uh, to the sober name. Uh, well, it's not. So let's delete this uh, ABN name by issuing uh, equal to three, and then two, one. We delete them, and then we issue this uh, command, which will configure the ABN name to be. Super SIM. So let's read again. Yes, let's see the registration status. 
and you can see the registration status is five, meaning that the device now is roaming, uh, which is good. Now let's let's assume that we want to switch to using the AT&T uh, SIM card, which is on SIM card slot number two, the SIM card slot on the bottom side. So we can do that by issuing the same command, but make it equal to one. And now let's make sure it's configured correctly. Just with this, uh, we can verify that we switch it to SIM card slot by reading the CC ID of the SIM card inserted into SIM card slot number two. Uh, it is still reading uh, the all uh, the same uh, on the top side. So before we read the CC ID or the SIM card slot on the bottom side, let's configure the ABN name of AT&T, which is this one. Uh, so let's issue this AT command and you, you see it's now configured. Let's verify it's configured. Correct. Now <clears throat> we need to restart. Uh, we need to restart the modem so that it can start reading SIM card slot uh, number two. And we do this by issuing the AT command C function equal to zero and C function one one, meaning that restart the module. So let's do that restart. Um, and you, you can see here the two AT command uh, uh, is started. So uh, we have to wait um, like a few seconds. We can open the device manager again because the LT modem has been restarted, so it should show up again, and it show up. And we verify, you notice that the board is now, you, you need to open it again because the LTE modem has been restarted. So go to uh, port uh, 57, open port, success. Let's make sure it's verified, so we see the AT command. Now let's, see the, let's read the CCID, uh, the ATM modem program, and you notice that it's now the AT&T SIM card. It's a different. It's one end in one six eighty one six eight zero, which was different. Remember than the SIM, the CCID of the Sober SIM. So now we are we are ready uh, to connect to AT&T. Let's verify the C registration, and is still searching uh, for it. Let's verify also the ABN name is correct here. Oh. The ABN name is not right, so um, we have to configure it uh, by using uh, uh, AT&T ABN name. So let's delete, remove this uh, same uh, uh, ABN name and then add the ABN name of AT&T and make sure it's red again. Yes. Uh, well, then uh, we have to, we don't need to make um, a hard restart, but just uh, let the modem uh, try registering on the network again by issuing a C function equal to zero and one. So this is not a hard restart. This doesn't restart the modem. Just tell the modem to re-register again on the network. And you can see now it's it shows zero one, meaning that it has registered on the home network of AT and D. And now we were able to switch between the SIM card slot number one on the top side and SIM card slot number two on the bottom side.